Welcome back, my scrubs, to another episode of You and Me and Her, A Love Story. Now, this is a game that took me by surprise, alright? I know some people get mad at me for comparing this game to Doki Doki Literature Club, and the only reason I did it is because I feel like this game needed more attention, and, you know, it just makes sense to compare it to something that a lot of people said that it was, uh, very similar to Doki Doki, so that's the only reason I did it. I know some people don't like that, and I totally understand why. It's its own game. Yes, I understand that. The last episode really took me by surprise. It's very similar. I can see why people are saying that. Either way, it was really good, so go check it out. Uh, that crap had me, it, it gave me like the shippers. So I need to see what the heck's gonna happen with um, Mukau. <laughs> I don't know how to say her name still. It's probably Muko, isn't it? Yeah, Muko. It's totally Muko. It's Muko. I've been saying Mukau. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. I mean the game is so beautiful. I love the art I mean sure it's crazy and the main girl is always talking about saxophone lessons I don't know why she doesn't just buy herself a saxophone that would seem like it would solve our problems But I mean, I'm I like this game a lot It really needs a lot more attention like there's no videos online that have like a ton of views and they need it needs to be that way I'm not saying that I need to get those views sure it would be great but it needs it like it just needs more attention. People don't realize what they're missing. Hey, Aoi! So this is when she did all of her crap and she literally reset the earth. She actually contacted God somehow, and that was freaking insane. Like this is anime. Seriously. But but Shinichi. Uh, you dropped your phone again. Okay, so also a lot of feedback from you guys. A lot of you said that you like watching or listening to me while you're like drawing or doing your homework or whatever. So I'm gonna turn off the voices. I don't want to do that. I I don't like to do that, but I'm gonna do that because you guys want me to read it. So and you can't. You guys don't know Japanese. So I mean, I don't know a lot either, but I know a little bit. It's just hard to talk over their voices, you know. So let me know if you want me to turn the voices back on and also me talk over them because I just don't, it just doesn't feel right. Their voices are so funny. This can't. There's gotta be another way. <laughs> How about this? I'll just turn the- I'll toy the voices down a little bit. I want to hear the voices because their voices really make it, especially Yutaro. He's freaking hilarious. So I'll still talk though. If you don't want to risk losing it, you need to make sure you hold on to it. Okay. Just as Aoi smiles. <laughs> what does that mean? It's so cute. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da. Whoa. Her body tumbles sideways. Oh, dang. She booted too much a little bit, apparently. You okay? Uh, is my battery dying? Yeah, yeah. So calling God uh, takes a lot of 5G. <laughs> I can tell you weren't feeling so hot, so let's call off our plans and... Aoi's fine. Let's go to the batting cages. Uh, there's no hesitation in her eyes. She did mention she was really excited to go, so uh, excited she didn't get much sleep. Alright, but you better tell me if you start feeling sick, got it? So does the main character know what she just did? Because maybe she rewrote it and now we don't know what's happening because the intro kind of just started. It didn't really explain that like something weird was going on. Got it. So she, so she rewrote the universe so me and Miyuki could be together. I mean, that's really sweet. It gave us a choice, but I don't know. I'm going with this because I picked it. I need to stick with it. All right, let's go and find Miyuki. Hmm? On our way to the gym, I notice an unread email in my inbox. I open up to find, oh, hey, it's the group photo from before. Remember the one with you and me and Miyuki? Yeah, I remember that. I always claim she emailed me, uh, she emailed it to me forever ago, but for some reason I only just got it. Yeah, so why does she have service now? This girl's got some powers, man. It's been so long I totally forgot about it. It must have been earlier when my signal went through. Alright, I guess her phone does actually work on occasion. Not often enough to actually be useful, though. Aoi made a new save file, too. Now there's no need to worry about any bad endings. Uh, right. I sigh to myself. Apparently her gamer brain isn't going anywhere fast. Bro, I mean, what is she gonna do with the save file, though? Does she, does she not a mod? Alright, are we getting some DLC? How much is she gonna charge for it? Her life. <laughs> oh, no. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Dude, that music was scaring me. Uh, right as I walk through the door, I get an impromptu apology from the first year girl. I saw you walking over and it was all so fast, I got scared. Yeah, so last time she got all scared for some reason when I saw her. Was it something I did? No, um, at this time I was just so panicked, you know, being seen like this and I didn't know uh, what to do, so I... Was he oogling you? No, of course not. See, she knows I wasn't being creepy. Maybe she just doesn't like you. That's not true! So you do like him. Uh, like him? Fat chance as if! I hate him! 
Okay, that was a little too far. That's right. I hate his guts. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. A split second later, she takes off like a bat out of heck. Ow. She looks like she fell. Yep. She's a klutz. Yep. Hey, what are you doing? Picking on Haru-chan again. We weren't picking on her. If anything, I'm pretty sure I'm the victim here. Man, you sure a delicate little flower like her could be had one to play? She's actually really talented and she's got the looks to boot. So Shinichi, you're upset you got turned down? You can't turn down a confession I never made. <laughs> that said, I wouldn't mind seeing her perform sometime. Yeah. Okay. That girl is irrelevant, I'm sure, right? I don't think she's really gonna matter. So this is where the batting cages are. Sure is. It's all run down. It's been this way ever since we were kids. Actually, that's true. Come to think of it. Got it. You two used to come here together as kids. I thought she said a kiss. I was like, did they? More like Shinichi would drag me here, but yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say that. We'd always run out of an allowance of money, but the guy in charge uh, took a liking to us and let us play for free now and then. From there, the batty cages quickly became our, our usual hangout spot. Now then, let's get started. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I I think I've been to a batty cage like once. Hey, yeah. Oh, uh, she she hit him with the buddha buddhas. Those buddha buddhas can hit me all day. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just adorable. What can I say? The bat cuts through empty air. Aoi tilts her head in puzzlement. Aoi missed. Here, watch me. I'll show you how it's done. Show off. Uh, Miyuki takes the bat from Aoi, so she basically just shows off. Wow. And the next second, she sends it rocketing into the safety net. Can you tell me what I'm doing differently? Uh, Miyuki, you're so cool. Aoi. <laughs> Aoi's not cool at all. Miyuki heaves a sigh. Okay, so what do you think if it is you're missing? Height, Aoi's too short. Can't compete with Miyuki's beauty. The plot, she's like, you, she, you can see now that she's actively trying to make herself look bad in order for us to be with Miyuki. Would you say that she's a simp? I, <laughs> I don't know. Is she doing this for us because we were nice to her? Because we gave her tomato juice, her favorite drink of choice? Shinichi, help me out here. Hmm, let's see. For starters, try to keep your eye on the ball. Keep my eye on the ball? The ball do? You're not looking at it when you swing. This time, try watching it. See what happens. Oh, she's getting the Buddha Buddhas ready. I would take the bat and heads to the batter box. I think she missed again. <laughs> I watched it. You have to do more than that, you goof. <laughs> like, you just look at it and it just, it just automatically gets hit. We want her to get comfortable with the ball. Why don't you start with the bunt? Just hold the bat out in front of you. Like this? To yeah, okay, so I end the ball. Match, tra match the trajectory. Yay, she hit it! Boo -doo -boo -doo. So she said, <laughs> Aoi hit it. So did she say that when she's excited too? It wasn't much of a hit, more like world's weakest uh, ground ball, but hey, I'll take it. See, what did I tell you? Got it. Shinichi, you're a great coach. Thanks, I guess. Let me try again. Keep my eye on the ball. Amazing, another hit. This time, how about you try swinging? So every time, so I'm gonna guess, like every time that something goes bad, she's gonna change it for us. And I got a feeling she's gonna do anything to make sure we are together, I guess. But why? That's the question. Why? The ball graces against her ungainly swing. Foul ball. She's still definitely making progress, though. You've always been a great teacher, you know. I know. I know. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm anything special. It's a talent you've had since grade school. You think so? Trust me, I remember. I've read my diary countless times. Truth be told, I remember it too. Looking at her now, you never picture it, but back when Miyuki first started, she sucked even worse than Aoi. I was the one who taught her how to swing. Hey, that connection though, the connection to the characters. Ooh, that was a home run! It flew! Yes, it flew. It sure did. I saw the whole thing. I always smile as genuine and pure. See, that's the thing. I don't know. I don't like that when she talked about saxophones and all kinds of instruments. I don't like that because she doesn't see like it's just not right. You get it? I vaguely remember Miyuki smiling like that way back when. If you hadn't taught me baseball here all those years ago, I would have never landed this role. Hey, come on. You got that part through your own efforts. Not true. You're the one who gave me the opportunity as usual. Years of diligent hard work and look where she is now. We may have started off as equal footing, but now we're miles apart. 
All right, yeah. I see that old thing still around. Hmm. What, my grandma? <laughs> my grandma's walking by. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> she points to the safety net. The net is adorned with a series of targets. Hit, double, trip, and home run. Hit these targets and you'll win free coupons. Just like the good old days. So we're reminiscing about the old days when we when they would challenge each other. You know, it's cute, but when is it not going to be cute anymore? <laughs> Miyuki says, I. if you guys are just listening, Miyuki says, I should have said that every time. I sure would like to see you take a swing like old times. Her voice is a whisper, but I don't answer her. I don't have it in me. I, I can't. I swore I'd never touch the bat again. After the bat killed my mother. The bat. Yes, only the bat. No one was holding it. Instead, I stare silently into the distance. Deep down, something tells me if I respond to that request, I'll destroy everything three of the three of us have built. Why? To swing? Unless that was code word to take a swing at her. You shouldn't be hit her with the bat. I'm very confused in this relationship. <laughs> See, you guys need to hear the dittas. See, like, like, I, there's no way. It's not fair. You need to hear the dittas. You're certainly a fast learner, huh? All thanks to my master coach. Yeah, right. She's freaking pulling Monica right now and altering the save file. All right? You tell me that it's not related. Like, at least, like, uh, similar. Come on. Maybe you stand a chance of beating Miyuki now. Beating her in a fight? Are they gonna fight? Why don't we make a little bet? Miyuki points at the targets with the bat. Please take turns swinging the bat and the person who hits the ball the closest to the target uh, gets to tell the other two what to do. Oh, I know where this is going and I don't know if I like it. Miyuki's gonna win this and she's... Oh, God. We can put a handicap on the ball speed to make it fair. How about want to give it a try? If Aoi wins, Shinichi and Miyuki have to get to... No! <laughs> I shoot her down firmly. Aoi, aren't you tired after all that? I know you weren't feeling 100% today, but let's call it a day and go home. What, you chicken? I see you've invented another one of your convenient excuses to get out of it. Sure, whatever. Let's go with that. It's not whatever, huh? It's not like Miyuki uh, to scream like that. You know, you never used to be like this. Shinichi, what is it that you're so afraid of? It's love. I'm not afraid of anything. I just don't like pointless conflict. Liar. She's absolutely right. I can't even find, uh, in, I can't even find an enemy to get mad about it. Fact of the matter is, Aoi isn't feeling her best. That's not... That's not boo-boo. <laughs> that's not boo-boo. Aoi tries to argue, but stack her sideways. See? Told you! Oh. She frowns to herself. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay. So, she can see that we're hiding something. Miyuki still doesn't look convinced, but I ignore her and lead the, uh, lead the way out of the building. Come on, don't be mad. I'm not mad. This is your idea of not mad. Look, I get it, okay? I know Aoi's not feeling good. Oh. <laughs> Here under the starry night, Aoi, ga Aoi Gate is even more gaze. Alright, so there's a few spelling errors in here, but hey, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll ignore it. Fine, whatever. I'll stop being mad if you give me some advice. I have really bad feeling about this. Is it about the thing from before? Somewhere in that ballpark, I guess. Boy troubles. Aoi cuts in. Miyuki flinches in alarm. No, the play! The engeki boom. About the kiss. <laughs> All those years of watching Clan Head has taught me words. They always say that. They always say the word club. Or play. About the kiss? What? Wait! Huh? No, no, don't say that! Don't say that! <laughs> Shinichi, you told her? Uh, didn't you promise you wouldn't tell anyone? How could you? I trusted you. I'm sorry. I just thought it would be okay since we're all friends. Miyuki looks like she's ready to explode. Desperately, I look to Aoi for help. She's not paying attention. There's a box. Sure, a, a box. Yep. What about it? Just then, we hear a tiny mouth from inside. Just like that, Miyuki's furry evaporates. Time to open it. Wait, don't you... Oh, little, oh, little kitty. Oh. Is it a kitty? Sure. That sure is a cat. Yep. I'm not looking. Meet the night. A tiny, a teeny tiny little black kitten. Oh, wait, there's a streak of white on its forehead. Looks like a thunderbolt. Don't trust that cat. The cat's gonna be the end of all of us. You don't have to describe it to me. Let's show Miyuki your little face. Oh, God, don't name, don't name it. <laughs> Miyuki shrieks, her face buried, buried in her hands as Aoi lifts the kitten in her direction. Don't you want to see? Please don't! Look at the cute kitten! Hey, <laughs> Cute is justice! You're right! 
I don't want to. I don't want to see it. Oh, she sneezes hard. Is she allergic? Oh, she saw. Miyuki's white eyes stared and transfixed. It's transfixed on the kitten. She looks like she might tackle it at any moment. It's so kawaii. Oh, she sneezes. Are you sick? I'm just allergic, that's all. I guess that's a really common thing for people to be allergic to cats. Uh, I hear about it all the time, but I don't get it because I'm not. Miyuki sniffs. Sadly, I can never own a cat. Come on, Shinichi, let's go. Uh, but... Wait. She got in the box! Well, I mean, she doesn't live anywhere. She can live with the cat. See, problem solved. I take my eyes off her for two seconds. Oh, she has ears! What the heck? <laughs> and now she's wearing the cat ears from uh, the onesie. I'm the mommy cat. Nice try. Cats don't talk. They meow. Muko. Okay, cats don't go bada bada. Alright, they probably should, but they don't. Aoi Franz had it herself for a moment. <laughs> I remember this. The same exact thing happened in that game too. Yeah, that's right. It did. I was like, yeah, we've seen this before. That's why you're going to help me, Miyuki. Purr. She's purring. Purr. Purr. I refuse. Miyuki's tone is surprisingly icy. Do you have a place for this cat to live? The manga cafe doesn't allow pets, you know. Um, are you going to back to your parents' house then? Will you beg for them to let you both stay? Uh, but Miyuki... If we choose not to rescue the kitten, we'll trigger the bad ending route and... I'm warning you now as your friend. Miyuki's counter... Ca countenance contorts viciously. Okay, whatever that means. This isn't a game... Oh, but it is, I bet. If you try to adopt the cat, I'm cutting ties with you. What? That's a little much. Just like that, Miyuki turns smartly on her heel and walks, stalks away. I guess that's the same thing as walking. How do you stalk? I don't know. Her long hair flutters in the moonlight as she disappears. <coughs> the kitten meows after her, but she doesn't turn back. Moments later, she's gone. How could she be so heartless? It wasn't all so sudden. I had no time to react. All I could do was watch her go. Meanwhile, the memory of our conversation floats through my head. I want to help her come I want to help her come to terms with reality, and I think that's the best thing we can do for her. Cutting ties. I always gaze wonders in the distance as she takes off her cat ears. But this isn't her usual absent-minded gaze. Instead, she seems to be searching desperately for something she can't quite track down. You alright? Shinichi explained to me. What does cutting ties mean? Well, I imagine it means she'll stop being friends with you or maybe stop talking to you at all. She's gonna stop being my friend? Does she hate me? No, no, she don't hate you, but if you're gonna, if she's gonna cut ties, knowing her, she just snapped and lashed out a little harder than she meant to. Aoi falls silent, but her emotional reaction is noticeably different compared to the time she attempted to blackmail us with that photo. I have to do something. Uh, we could keep the kitten in my place, yeah. It's a big house and my parents aren't around. It turns out living alone has its perks. But Eru would be left alone whenever we were at school, so I guess that's the cat's name. That's not safe. Yeah, fair point. Admittedly, I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving such a small kitten to fend it for itself uh, for hours at a time. Got it. Aoi quietly raises her hand. It took a long time, but Aoi is Miyuki's friend now. And Aoi doesn't want to cut ties. So the kitten will have to stay here. Aw, no, take the cat. I don't care about the humans, take the cat. So I remember what Miyuki said when she, uh, back at school. She admitted that she saw her old self in Aoi. So yeah, maybe, that, maybe that's why she's being like really harsh because she wants to like teach her a lesson that say, hey, you can't be weird. <laughs> yeah, she would have just smiled and played nice no matter what. And yet when it came to Aoi, Miyuki didn't play nice. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As the kitten rubs against her leg, Aoi gently scoops it up. And, that's so sad. Oh, but I mean, it is normal for cats to be out in the wild too, so I don't know. She pets the kitten sadly. Meow. Someone nice will come along and adopt you for sure. Meow. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad if we come back and it's not that way. You'll be happier that way. Don't worry, you'll see. She, continue, she continues to pet the kitten over and over. Evidently, she can't bring herself to leave. Aoi? It's okay. Bye bye, Eru. With that, Aoi stands up and turns her back, and sure enough, her face is soaked with tears. Aw, that's so. Aww. <laughs> Reflexively, I stroke her hair. It's so weird. I was not happy, so what are these tears for? Well, they can't be happy tears, you know? Back in the classroom, Aoi never used to show any emotion whatsoever, but once we made friends with her, she learned to smile. She learned to cry. 
Sometimes you cry when you're sad too, but this isn't a bad thing. She's changing for the better. I'm sure of it. Hmm. You and me and her love story. Kimi to kanojo no kun... Tokonojo no koi. But then I started thinking, what if Aoi was alone? What if he weren't there for her? What if Miyuki hadn't been around to scold her? Sorry, I kind of skipped a little part. She would have tried and failed to sneak the kid into the manga cafe. Then the manager would have thrown her out and then... Is it rainy? It's like getting louder. Then she would have spent the night in the streets. I can picture it as clear as day. Aoi wouldn't have had anyone to turn to and the kitten would have frozen to death out in the cold. God, are you out there? To Aoi, God has to exist. It's the only way she can feel validated in the way she chose to deliver, choose to live her life. After all, a just God would surely show favor to good people that do good things. If he really just did one quick uh, phone call away, or if he was a phone call away, would he answer her prayers? Is he waiting out there somewhere beyond the sky? Wait, the sky? Oh crap, it's raining! Oh, the cat? Is he going back for the cat? The night gets pretty chilly in the fall. One measly cardboard box is an aw, he's so good. Dude, the main character, at least he's like really nice though, right? The kid's gotta be freezing out there, helpless and confused. Oh, that's so cool where she's just running to it. And the second Aoi puts two and two together, I, sh I know she's just gonna run over uh, over there. I find the cardboard box wilting in the rain. Open it and heads to the pier inside. Uh, the kid, oh, it's gone. I thought it was like covered. Hopefully it just means someone else came along and adopted the poor thing, but should I swing by the manga cafe just in case? Just then, my thoughts are in- Oh, so my phone's ringing. I thought my actual phone was ringing right now. That trolled me. Hello? Shinichi, I'm at the Mugga Cafe right now. Oh, Miyuki. What, you are? Of course, Miyuki must be looking for Aoi, too. That's kind of reassuring, actually. So she went back and checked with the cat, too? Dang, the characters- Ah, uh, starting to really love them, man. She must have reached the same conclusion as I did. Where's Aoi? The staff says she bolted outside just a few minutes ago. And on her way out, she asked them if they allowed pets. I knew it. I'm at the cardboard box. The cat's gone. Take it, Aoi! <laughs> hey, come on. Don't get mad at her. Nobody in their right mind would leave a kitten out here to die in the rain. I know that. Just stop shouting, okay? Take a breath. Do you really think Aoi's fit to look after a cat all by herself? To be fair, Aoi's uh, hardly a child. She could probably look after herself and a kitten, assuming she... Then I remember the sight of her standing without an umbrella. Yeah, I remember that. We need to find her! <laughs> I'm worried now! But where do we look? Not sure, any ideas? Uh, her parents' house, maybe. I mean, I certainly hope that's where she went, but the implication is clear and I can't deny it. Where else might Aoi go? The first place I could think of is on top of the school, but there's no way Aoi would uh, want to be outside right now with the kitten. In which case, uh, where does that leave us? The batty cage! It's no use. I can't, I, come on, we, like, what are the two places that we went? I don't even know where to start. I don't have the first clue. God, I'm so useless. Shinichi, don't you dare zone out! You call yourself always friend, don't you think uh, you ought to be uh, be there for her? Oh yeah, right. Let's do it. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't got no GPS signal on her. Aoi is the self-processed transceiver. Aoi the girl with just one entry in her address book. The two of us are her only friends. And right now, we're the only ones that can help her. Miyuki? Thank you for helping me look for her. Oh, of course I'd help. Somehow I can picture that exactly her exact expression. I know her. I know she likes being friends with Aoi. See, this is friend goals right now, man. Please, game, don't ruin this for me. Don't ruin it. I, I really need to see them happy. The visual novel. Is he actually starting to realize that maybe if he checks it, it's like actually linked to real life? Wait, what did you just? I gotta sweep back my place. I gotta go play some games. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, is it a good one at least? No clue, but it's gotta be better than searching uh, at random. All right, I'll meet you there. The girls can be to my house. <laughs> I expect him to act like that. Oh my god, that's kind of scary though. If you know what's gonna happen, right? All right, so we went home. Then I bolted up the stairs in my room and grabbed the loaner phone that I had on the charging on my bed. <laughs> Maui, I'm Meowy. What did I just say? <laughs> Meow, I'm the mummy cat. I need to get to the next seat as quickly as possible. <laughs> Man goes home to play visual novel while girl is in danger. Right now, I'm skipping through the past to line up with the real world present day. But what if? But what if I read further? Oh, he's starting to understand. I mean, this is one of those dating sim type games, right? Which means the protagonist... Does he not know that it looks exactly like her? I'm just saying, like... Oh, whoa! A sudden, a sudden sound effect uh, catches me off guard. My hand slips. I accidentally uh, desele deselect the skip button. Wait, is this coming? 
Oh my god, this was part of her freaking plan. I just realized it. She's... Oh my god, this was all part of her plan! <laughs> We've been had, Miyuki. Shinichi, do you know where she went? Miyuki asks uh, through the gasp for breath and I nod. Thanks for coming with me. As if I wasn't going to. She's extremely predictable, you know. So like, obviously I had to do something. Anyway, do you know where she went? Yes? Yeah, at least I'm pretty sure. Where did she actually go? I wonder if we're gonna tell her about the visual novel as well. Some visual novel section though. The school? I don't blame her for being skeptical. Despite Aoi's fondness on the, on the roof, I told myself there's no way she could have trespassed on the school grounds at night. See, look. Oh, she opened it. Sure enough, the front entrance was open as well. I somehow doubt the janitor just forgot to close the doors. The school's building is completely deserted. Okay, where is she? I don't trust this girl. There's a trail of water droplets leading into the opposite direction towards the gym. How do you know? Well, you said you had an idea. Oh yeah, so she doesn't know. Well, uh, I'm honestly not sure how to explain it to her. The whole reason we're here is because it's a scene in the game where Aoi is soaking wet and she takes cover in the gym. But I know Miyuki hates com uh, conflating video games with reality. Oh yeah, that's right. She does really hate that. It's fine. Don't worry. Let's just go. Just tell me later, okay? I'm getting scared. Uh, Aoi, where are you? Miyuki's voice echoes the faces of the darkness. The gym is pitch black. Normally there would be a soul here, or wouldn't be a soul here at this hour. I know you're here, Aoi. <laughs> Dame. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, that was definitely her. <laughs> this is cute, though. Ah, I thought I was going to be scared for a second. Silence. Aoi doesn't answer. Why are you hiding? Come on, Aoi, get out of here. My, Miyuki shouts, but Aoi refuses to respond. Instead, all we hear is, a muffled sob? She's crying. Hey, what's wrong? Stay away. Don't come any closer. What are we about to see right now? Why are you crying? Aoi can't help it because Aoi didn't listen. Oh, she's oh, she's scared of, of uh, uh, Miyuki cutting ties with her because of the cat. To what? Miyuki told me not to, but Aoi couldn't stop thinking about it. Couldn't abandon the kid and wanted to be a hero, but now Miyuki's got to cut ties and stop being my friend. Well, that was definitely the threat she made at the time. Is that why she won't come out? Probably. She already chose you over the kitten once before. Come on, Miyuki. I get it, all right? Miyuki sighs in frustration. I take it back, okay? I'll take it back. Uh, you take it back? I don't want to cut ties. I just want to stay friends now. Please get out of here and talk to us, Aoi. You sure you won't cut ties with me? Aoi's wavering voice cuts through the darkness. You promise you take it back? Why else would I come looking for you in the middle of the night when it's pouring down rain outside, silly goose? I wouldn't do it unless I was worried about you, obviously. You mean it? I wouldn't lie to you about something like this. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? <laughs> Thank you so much! Aoi dashes out from backstage. <laughs> Dude, I can't. This game is just too adorable. But it also has a really like cursed side to it. It's, at least the version that I'm playing. Uh, the, the version that's on Steam normally uh, is probably not as cursed. <laughs> but again, I was told that you, you miss some parts if you don't. So yeah, that's why I did it. I didn't want to miss anything. Miyuki, you were the best. Thanks, I'm just glad you're feeling better. I can hear a tiny squeak in Miyuki's voice as always a flying tackle hug threatens to nearly send the both of us, the both of them toppling to the floor. Wait, where's the kitten? Right here. Come out, Yuru. Is it in her, like, jacket or whatever? <laughs> Jesus, yeah, it did. It came out of her jacket or her, uh, like, pouch or whatever. <laughs> Jesus, the cuteness levels are off the charts. They've even got me grinning. I could die happy. I mean, seriously, right? Like, you gotta have a heart of stone not to be just, like, just smile at this. <laughs> but but Miyuki. Oh, she falls off. <laughs> she faded. Oh, she's hugging the cat. What happened to avoiding a repeat of last time? History is always going to repeat itself. Shinichi, do you have a face mask? Why would I? Why wouldn't you? Don't snap at me. When it comes to cats, I swear this girl can't stop thinking about art. This girl stops uh, thinking straight. And Aoi, don't encourage her. Why are you even wearing that? Well, my clothes got all wet. What happened to the umbrella I gave you? Oh. She completely forgot about it, didn't she? Somehow, I'm not surprised. Okay, so it stopped, it stopped raining, basically. Maybe we should head back home now while we can. 
Got it. Miyuki's missing. Wait, what? I look around. Sure enough, I can't see her anywhere. Did she really go wandering off at the school at night? Alone? Ah! What is that sound? Oh, did I scare you? Miyuki turns up in the direction from the hallway smirking. Looks like she's holding something. Corn chowder? It's cold tonight. Drink it. Is she just still? <laughs> That's probably a vending machine. Is it one of those, like, is it? Is it those drinks that I had in Japan? Like, I don't... Did I have it? Oh, I know that they... I don't know if I've had it, but I know that they have uh, these, like, hot corn drinks. That just sounds disgusting. I guess that's what they're drinking. So we're all getting along now, and they're feeding each other like good old pals. All right, I just know this game's trying to set me up and ruin me. Okay? She gave her some tomato juice. <laughs> Wait, this stuff is actually good. For real? Yeah, way better than I was expecting, at least. Yeah, she, she gave a little bit of spice out of the code in there. <laughs> it's full of my love. Ah! Oh, I love this so much. It's the 812. <laughs> what does that even mean? What does 812 mean? Uh, anime's always be trying to find a different name for 7-Eleven. <laughs> When are they going to run out? Oh, this is Yutaro's uh, parents' store. Apparently, they run this store. Okay, so I, I skipped a little bit because it's not really that important to the story, guys. Like, they're just getting cat food. And apparently, Yutaro often ends up working the register. Yutaro is probably my favorite character in this game, though, because he's so freaking hilarious. He has the most messed up family situation I've ever heard of in my life. So, Aoi went inside the store to get pasteurized milk. They're not sure if she's going to get the right kind, so she might kill the cat. We don't really know. But did Aoi leave us alone together on purpose? Another customer heads inside a chime place as the automatic door slide open. You know, I gotta admit, Aoi might have adopted that cat purely on a whim, but I think she's just doing what she thinks is right. It'll only end in suffering, you know. Well, sure, maybe she can't tell reality from video games and her lack of forethought is cause for concern, but honestly, I can't say I dislike that about her. I mean, come on, we all need some imagination, you know? Is it really that bad to, to think that, that way? I mean, yes, with some things, yeah, it's really awful. I kind of cringe when it comes to some things, but, you know... I think the lesson is don't take life too seriously. Say, um, what about me? How would you feel if I were to do what I think is best for myself? What do you mean? Well, yeah? If I were to be honest with how I really feel- Dude, just say you love us already, okay? Come here. <laughs> oh god. Dang it, every time we get close. We turn to find Aoi standing there shopping bag in hand, blatantly spying on us. Guess you managed to buy it, huh? Sure did. Good for you! I'm proud of you for buying milk! You did it! Does this mean Operation Alone Time was a disaster? I knew it. She planned this. She's so evil. Uh, drink up. Wait, who, whose house are we? Are we at my house? Where's my parents? Did he ever say it? What is- Seriously, every anime character's parents are gone somehow. Where are they? There's there no parents in Japan at all? Are they always on a business trip? Every parent? Just saying. Alright, so they're feeding the cat, right? Oh, so was Yutaro working? Nope. But that klutz was. What klutz? The one from the theater club. Oh, she worked there? Okay. Oh my god, that scared me. Someone just knocked. Just then I heard noise from behind me to turn to look. Whoa. Is Miyuki melting? Uh, she's probably fine, probably. I think she's just pressing her face right up against the glass door, that's all. Are you sure? Mostly. Seriously, she looks like she belongs on the set of a B-list horror movie. Is she not like- does she not want to be in the same room as the cat? But more importantly, there's a look in her eye that says, get over here. So I better not leave her hanging. Anyway, um, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'll be careful. I mean, she's not actually a monster from a B-list horror movie, right? So she- I guess she had like her face pressed up against the glass. What's your problem? It's not fair. <laughs> I can't believe you get to hug and brawl for yourself. Uh, so she's jealous because she wants to be with the cat. You're all having fun without me. Look, <laughs> she's like, I'm going to- Pet the cat, too. Out of nowhere, her hand suddenly touches mine. I start to panic. Then Miyuki leans away, and I realize her cell phone is now sitting atop my palm. Take pics. Close-up shots. Oh, she wants to get pictures of the cat? Uh. <laughs> so they all just had a wholesome moment with the cat. Yeah, that's nice. What do you think? Perfect, thank you. Miyuki checks over the, kit the kitten pictures and puts her phone away. Were you always this much of a cat fanatic? You I guess you could say that I want what I can't have. Man, you should see the faces you make when you go all cat crazy. You look like a cross between a... I feel like that from your brain now. Fine. Sorry, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to forget that monstrosity. <laughs> Look at them fast asleep in there, almost like they really are mommy. She's doing it again. She's doing it again. She's letting us being alone right now. Following her lead, I peer into the living room from beyond the glass door. Bro, are they gonna get together or what? Like, I just need to see it now. No more. Well, all right. I guess we should uh, call it a night here and uh, wait. What do you want me? You want me to take some more pictures? No, that's not it. 
You want to crash here for the night? I don't think it's a good idea, but... <laughs> no. Aw. There's something I want to tell you. What's that? Miyuki? I'm done clinging to the past. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. She pulls me close. Wait, whoa, whoa. Miyuki pulls me close until neither of us can see Aoi. Her body is turned towards me, and yet her face is turned away. Oh, so soon, Derry. We're too close. Way too close. Time slows to a crawl. Kiss me. <gasps> Kiss? Ever since Miyuki told me about the climax of the play, I've kissed her countless times in my dreams. <sighs> my love. Is this all a dream to you? If so, I need to wake up fast. Wow, that was random. No, it's not random, actually. Her lips twitch with a wh whisper. I can't let myself fall in love with her. No! If we kiss, I definitely will! Which means I know what I have to do. I know I need to get out of here. Don't you freaking do I'm gonna slap you! But my heart won't let me. I can feel it pounding in my chest. Yes, follow your heart! I'm scared. I don't want my first kiss to be on stage. So I want it to get some practice in first. Practice? Yeah, like I want to get the hang of it, you know? Is that cool with you? Heck no. What? Go practice with your acting partner. This isn't my problem. Whoa, he's... Dude, my man just grew some cojones. What, it's not? But you said you helped me figure this out. So I worked up all my courage to ask you to be your practice, practice partner. Okay, look, I know what I said, but... What, am I your guinea pig? Dang, my man just earned some self-respect. He's not a guinea pig. He needs an actual GF, someone that will actually love him for him. That's right. Yeah, men deserve rights too. No, you've got it all wrong. Then why would, why the F would you say that to me? Do you have any idea how I feel spending all this time with you? Woo! Dude, I'm freaking pumped right now. I can't like, for once, the main character is actually not stupid. Uh, stop! The glass door, oh no, she's gonna have to change the game again, doesn't she? She jumps in, in between us. No fighting allowed, you two. Aoi, just when we're finally getting along. You're not allowed to fight. What the? She topples sideways. I quickly catch her in my arms. Like freaking Spider-Man would catch her. Her eyes wonder unfocused. What's wrong? You feeling sick? Aoi's battery is dying. Aoi? The second we walk outside, Aoi loses her balance. Acting quickly, I pull her arm over my shoulder to keep her upright. I'll help you get her back to the... Not today. Sorry. Dang. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Miyuki. I walk up with Aoi, leaving Miyuki standing there in silence. With one arm around my shoulders, Aoi hobbles down the street onto her newly dried uniform. You sure you want to go back to the manga cafe? You can always stay a couple of nights at my place, you know? That would trigger a risky event flag. <laughs> I get it. Okay, what about the hospital? Aoi needs to recharge. The hospital won't help with that. She needs her anime. I'm assuming she watches anime. Then at least let me call you a taxi. Aoi will be fine. I swear once she puts her mind to something, she refuses to be swayed. Thankfully, she doesn't seem to be running a fever, so I think she's all right. Shinichi, what's up? Why did you make friends with me? Well, I dimly retrace my memories back to the day I first exchanged email addresses with her. That was the day we officially became friends, and then she took a photo of me and Miyuki. I don't want- I didn't want you to spread the photo around. That was your whole reason? Well, I mean, I, I had to do something, right? But you don't have the patience to deal with other people. She's not wrong. She ain't wrong. I guess you remind me of Miyuki. When we were little, Miyuki had trouble fitting in, so she was a loner just like you. Miyuki. So that's it, you wanted to help Miyuki. Huh? One minute she's staggering along on her feet, on her two feet, and then next she collapses to the ground. You okay? I don't think she's okay. Hold on a second. I pull out my cell phone to call a cab. No, thanks. This is where we say goodbye. I'm not just gonna leave you here. It's fine. I always sp speak softly, her gaze distant. Once you're on a route, all the other girls fade into the background. So you'll forget about me soon enough. And you'll forget you left me here. Oh, for my dead body! No, I need her to say the buru burus. I crash to the ground at the side of the road. Hop on. Oh, we're giving her a piggyback ride. I'll carry you. What for? Well, you won't let me call you a taxi. Besides, it's faster just to walk there. But Aoi... I said hop on. <laughs> That's what friends are for, right? Yeah. Friends? Okay. Bro, this is so wholesome. It ain't even funny. Aoi climbs my back. We set off under the moonlight. Look at that. That's some cool art, isn't it? She's so soft and warm and small. 
Dang, it's a... My man over here. I gotta say I like him as a main character. Really do like him. Wow, you weigh like nothing. Are you even eating? <laughs> she drinks a lot of your Baileys. You need something with more calories. You're gonna fade away to nothing at this rate. But it has love in it. Love? I've always been having so much fun every day. All those long forgotten emotions have come rushing back and it's all thanks to you. I like you, Shinichi. I like you a whole bunch. I love you. I don't know if you should be saying that! Shinichi, your face is all red. Did Aoi sound like your girlfriend just now? No, Aoi feels so happy now. Super happy. Being your friend is the best thing ever. Maybe there could have been an Aoi route. What did she say? Is she dying? But not now. This is Miyuki's route. I told you, stop playing like we're in a You won't get... She keeps using that word. <laughs> Shinichi. Excuse me? Aoi already patched the universe to make sure. I'm starting to wonder if she's actually gonna die or something. So we did remember that then. Okay. You're going to be Miyuki's prince. Or prince. I can't believe what I'm hearing. All of the words that she could have used to describe me, prince isn't one of them. Step by step, we walk to the, to the cafe. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, he hops off my back. You sure didn't need to go to the hospital. Are you sure? The zappy recharged my batteries. All thanks to the event CG. There literally was a CG. What CG is she talking about? The good news is she doesn't seem as dizzy. Get plenty of rest. You can hear me. So like, she literally gets charged every time we see one of those pictures. That's like what she's saying. I'll look after Iru. Please do. Aoi waves to me. Bye bye. Have a good night. With that, she slips, she disappears. I watch her go until the elevator doors close. Thinking back, this has been one heck of a day. I still got some stu uh, stuff to process myself, but... Meow. Hey there, little buddy. <laughs> By now, we got a cat. And yet, somehow, sleep evades me. I am so hooked on this, guys. Holy crap, man. I know this game is going to rip my heart out. Just like Doki Doki did. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it, like, it does... It just... it's It reminds me, like, you know... Danganronpa, I don't think I can compare this to Danganronpa at all. It just feels like that, you know? Not that they, they are two different games, yes. But still, I'm just, I, there's nothing wrong with saying I get the same feelings, okay? I'm so sleepy. I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. No surprise there. Morning. <laughs> My man, Yutaro, man. <laughs> Stop shouting. What happened to your family this time? What's got you so working, uh, worked up? Not in the least. Well, you see, don't ignore me. It turns out my brother Ryujiro has a crush on someone! Really? Really, really, I just got an email from the man himself. Well, that's good. Now, uh, he can have a more healthy romantic outlet. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Why aren't you happy for him? It's just that now that it's gone, it's surprising how much it hurts. It's your brother! <laughs> my sad phantom romance. He was your brother! <laughs> but think about it, Shinichi, he was cute and he confessed to me. Does that sort of thing happen every day? It doesn't. It really doesn't. So I need some advice. Shinichi, you've got pretty friendly with uh, Mukao, M Muko, yeah? Pretty close, you might say. And Muka's pretty uh, friendly and with Sone's hand there, you see that? See what? The path to Sone's heart. Do not enter. Please, Shinichi, I'm begging you, please help me get to know Sone's hand, please! No can do. Lend me your strength, god of dreams! Find a different god. Ah, speak of the angel as she appears. <laughs> She just gonna ignore him again, huh? Shinichi, can you hear me? What do you want? Normally, Miyuki all smiles whenever she walks in the classroom. Yeah, because she always puts on that act, right? She just spoke to me, the ultimate nobody. All at once, the whole room goes weirdly quiet. I need to borrow you. And go where? Just come with me. Wow, is she really gonna like confess, confess? Oh, God, I don't want to stop it here, guys, but it's been like an hour. I reluctantly follow her. Backstab her, backstab. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Tedro. <laughs> Dude, the voice acting is amazing in this game. Yutara's plaintive song echoes out in the hall. <laughs> oh, God. Oh god, now the whole class is going to spread rumors about me for sure. This is the pits. Homeroom starting, you know. That doesn't matter. Hey, that hurts! Quick pulling me so hard! 
It's dead quiet here in the old gymnasium. Everyone, dang. Is she about to be like, okay, look, I actually do love you. So what do you want? We're all alone by the stage. Kiss. Kiss. There's going to be a kiss. Shinichi? You're hiding something from me about Aoi, aren't you? How does she know? Hiding something? Oh. That night. That night in the rain when we found Aoi here. You figured out something, right? What did you go back to your house for? Oh, did we actually see something in the visual novel we weren't supposed to see? Uh, oh, right. Uh, God, if I tell her I was looking for clues in a video game, she's gonna kick my butt. Tell me, the assistant. Uh, I went to play a video game. A video game. I was acting out scenes from a mobile game. She's been doing it ever since we first met. So use that game to predict the future. I wasn't actually expecting her to be in here. I guess she really is dedicated to the game script. Miyuki lets out a heavy sigh. And she adopts the cat in the game? Yeah, you know, when we found her, I swear it was almost like a one-to-one one, uh, one -one reproduction. Reciting lines is one thing, and cat ears aren't hard to come by. But what about the cat? That's right, huh? The kitten. Well, I was worried about leaving the little thing all by uh, itself in the house, so I brought him to school. I'm letting him hang out all up on the roof for now, and... Not that. What I mean is, how does she happen to find a stray cat? Where does she go out of her way to get one from a shelter just to act out a scene from a game? Oh, well, she has a point. I, I didn't think of that either. I can't imagine Aoi would go quite that far. Maybe it was a coincidence. I don't think so. A coincidence, really? Maybe God answered her prayers? <laughs> Miyuki, wait, what are you- Home. I need to check something. I'll call you later. Okay. What is she checking out, guys? We're going to find out next episode. Today's scrub of the day goes to... Nespai! Oh, it's just me with my mini waifus, guys. That's all. <laughs> guys, please do smash like if you want to see more of this. Like, because I just want to play this. I need to experience this. Don't take this away from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.